Okay, we're gonna be uh, taking drywall today, whatever piles are there. I'm gonna strip, I don't know, they don't know what they're gonna do here. They want to make it wider here, but you can put a header in here and whatever, so. It's plumbing in a way, or our, that's for radiator, wires, switches. So it may have, it may not come out now, but he said take this part out for now to show the owners. Okay, my glasses once actually. Yeah, I grab my glasses, but I'm gonna take this little ceiling out here, to here, right to here. This little thing. And I'll take that strip out. And then upstairs, I'll show you disaster zone. We had the toilet sitting here yesterday. We drained it, but there was a little bit, and this case is so rough. There was a little bit of water in the toilet, leaked through the floor, and went on top of the fire, fire alarm. And it triggered the house alarm. Imagine that, huh? So, this one, just take the walls out, we're leaving the ceiling. Walls, leave ceiling. Strip this, mirror's gonna come out. Most of these bedrooms are kind of done. Door frames, a couple door frames here and there. This he needs stripped. Putting HVAC in there. I need to pipe, pipe for the HVAC. And you know, stuff like this has to come off. Top and bottom. This is pretty already. The window sills off already, actually. Can you do them all? Okay. You see, see that's what I do myself because, see, that's what I don't like that. Do myself, it'll get those problems. So we're gonna leave this pocket door. We're taking the walls out here and leave the ceilings. Take this wall, this wall here, leave the ceiling. This comes out the shower. Heating, heating registers right here, funny how. Well, it comes out. This will I'll take this part later, we'll smash it apart. You can see me do that. So, I'm gonna try to get all the drywall today. Well, I might actually start stripping here because I can get more drywall ready. It's heavy. Well, I'll finish downstairs first, then I'll come back. Get a little bit of trim. Trim there. This will have to come out too. They want modern, they want wood. There's a treasure grove right there. Carrying the drywall. That's where obstacles for the back. I'm just working hard. Okay. Hot day today, it's probably like 25 to 30, so it's going to be a warm day. Okay. okay, I got the two light fixtures, small ones, and then I have the bigger one here, and there's a big entry one, maybe get later, hopefully. So I'm taking the fridge, and I got the doors. Just want to kind of get on top of stuff right away. The fridge was heavy, so at least we got that in there. It'll be a washer and dryer, I'll take that tomorrow, and then a bunch of doors. Um, so that's it for, for this here so far. I stripped those two areas already, completely stripped. Okay. So we've just stripped that so they can see what they're dealing with. It's up to the owners if they want to pursue it. You'd have to put a header in here. But if I want to go wider, who knows how wide, but you'd have to put a header from here. And then, and all, all the pens downstairs, you gotta remember, this is, goes to a beam downstairs onto the footing. You take that away, you may have to do something different. Be low for the weights. Let's strip there now. How you doing, Melissa? Say hi to YouTube. 
Melissa, she wanted to cut her sleeves off her, her shirt. I said, no, no, don't wear your shirt. So she's dressed in light. It's hot today. So the rail comes out too, but we'll do that last one. Everything's 100%. Take the rail out, then the builder could put a rail system up. It's a shame. They, they're taking this curve out for sure. And you don't believe it or not, we don't believe it. What they want to do is they want to drywall this. They don't want a banister. They want a drywall wall, both sides. That's a ridiculous of my mind. This, everybody goes to glass or whatever now. They don't, the drywall walls are long gone. That's history. We're talking about 1970. So imagine that being drywall and that drywall. That's what they want. Okay. Well, this one is a little different actually. Well, not similar. Last one I sold, I think, for around 75 or 100. And the lady wanted for Christmas tree ornaments. She wanted all the, the glass. So maybe we can try to sell them. No one wants them in general, but this lady wanted them particularly for that. She wants to dress a Christmas tree up. Okay, so done here. This level's done for now, except the floor has got to come out, which is going to be really tough. There's no subfloor. There's really hard grout on plywood. So if I can't get it out, you have to cut the whole floor out. That'll mean there'll be, there'll be joists sitting there. Usually they put a plywood floor, then they put a um, particle board or a three-eighths or something on there, and then something else. This one, like I say, the bill are cheaped out. Right? Okay, let's go, go upstairs, Shorty. See, sign of a cheap builder. Look at this. You can get your fingers in here. You should have a little square little box. Knock, like a little thing that comes in and out. See this? That's your shut off. Unbelievable. Tiles are coming off. Which is a good sign. I need something for that to plug that up. That's the problem, these guys, they don't do things properly. So that should be plugged up right away so no garbage goes down it. Hmm. It's actually. Cut that up there. Plus there's gases there too. Come out of that thing. See, I don't like putting stuff against the wall like that, especially sharp stuff. It wrecks the wall up. So I do a lot of stuff myself. I just like putting underlayer insulation in there. Seems to work, work better. Come on, what's going on here with this knife? It's like a rubber band. Ah, I knew it. Crappy 
blade <laughs> fell apart like three times the blade anyways keeps the thing dry from any junk going down it right which not been really good any rubble well nothing will go down okay okay so we're leaving the ceiling and leaving that wall we're gonna take those walls out like take the shower out so we're it's pretty hot out today it sounds right now 11 55 so two hours already into this no it was 10 30 so almost uh, almost an hour and a half it's not too bad They can just double drywall the ceiling if they want. It's gonna make a difference. Ceiling height's pretty high. Instead of tear it all out and then make more mess and they don't really have to disturb it. Why is it so peeling with that, I wonder? Weird. Well, there was something there glued there, maybe. Oh yeah, they had the cabinet that was glued here. Not my problem, I didn't do it. The only problem is there's only so much of a budget on this property, so we can go nuts here and take a lot of stuff. Out. There's always budgets that get blown pretty quick. Just there's so much, so many things. You do one thing, you do the next thing, and then you don't realize you have to uh, do something else to rectify that problem. So, two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand dollar. Here. Gotta go slow, it's just too windy, too hot. I'm gonna burn top of Doing drywall today. And tomorrow we'll be doing garbage. Leave that there. Take out this frame here. Take some water. Go inside for a minute. It's too hot. So I cleaned all this. At least so there's a walkway here, right? I don't like. If you notice, I like to put garbage in certain piles, drywall in certain piles. I don't leave everything tossed around. I keep the place clean. I sweep it. You know, that's the way to do things properly. Even the, builder, the builder's impressed. You know, we're so fast, efficient, and, and everything's clean. You know, we organize everything proper. Okay. Okay, time to smash it apart. It's actually gonna be on a concrete. Oh, but wood, wood base.
I think this is going to be all hollow, I think, but who knows? Stuff is slippery, so it's best to get out of your way. Somebody somewhere is going to be crying. It's about fiberglass. All resin. some of this off here.
Fuck, it's a whole long. You gotta watch out below here. Is it, this is the kitchen area or what? Yeah, See if my hammer gets my hammer. Watch out below! You can put that in the corner here. That's all that's the corner. All you need. Like, can you want to put that one across the service wing? Like yes, this is thick. You never knock this off. No, but I'm saying that little bit of plywood supports the Well, there, there's, you know, there's joists there. Look at those, look at those joists there. Don't well, stick it in there, over there. Let's run the corner because. I have to pull the drywall out, it's really slippery. Watch your hands, very sharp. Very sharp. Heavy that towel. Looks like I just drywall it, that's why I'd want it there. Well, I'll take a shower stall out and stuff.
back. It's not going, it's garbage truck. Why well, would you ask me? It's not drywall. Let's have dope damage to safe, okay? Well, yeah, I know. I'll let you know. You want that safe. Corners are sharp.
copper's mine. It's gonna shut off. Pass me a saw saw, Where is it? It's right in the corner. Right on the corner. I was right, it should have been there somewhere. Sawzall, not there? Okay, he'll bring it up. Oh, it's heavy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just slide it out. Oh, second. I don't lock on here, it's too slippery. Look, so why did you throw it on a walkway here? You can't do that. Well, there's always a walkway here, that's why. Maybe, uh, grab this drywall from here. I can go the drywall here. No, I know, but once you don't step on it. Okay. Got them on. Myself, ten bucks. Ten bucks for cutting this. That's the benefits of a demolition. Scrap metal, freebies. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about up here. Oh, we're going to take towel, towel stuff. Okay. You'll clean this up, sweetie, and I'll be back in a minute. And then uh, we'll also continue here. And just do a sweep, do a sweep, sweep after. Kind of sweep it into one corner. So I'm tripping all the stuff here. Stuff is very slippery. to take down here
stay back. Actually, a jacuzzi tub, actually.
water. Hot one today, huh? Hot one today. Downstairs, all drywall, and then whatever up to here, I still gotta strip some more. Uh, just, just the walls there and a shower. Maybe take some of the glass down. These guys don't know how to carry glass. And then uh, we'll take a break soon. Lean everything against the garage, you know what I'm saying? That's vertical, big stuff. Yeah, I like marble and glass, lean it. This piece is probably about 30 pounds minimum. Must have been a, probably about a three, four hundred pound bathtub probably, I would think. Pretty heavy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna clean the rest up. Okay, it's too hot. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it the way it is. <clears throat> you want the ceiling, so they can always cover the ceiling with double drywall, get rid of the texture. I'm uh, just thinking, no point stripping this window here because they're gonna have to put, put it back again. Why well, do it? All you have to do is put it a little bit of mud in the kind of rough areas, and that's it. All that delicate work here is expensive. That could cost you two, three hundred bucks just in labor and time, materials. It's a few hundred bucks, probably. Um, my daughter scraped this in like five minutes, I couldn't believe it. She goes, I'm done. I said, okay, are you sure? So, so it looks good. Even that wall there, but I, I may take that one out. I'm waiting for the guy to come back. But you wanted the pocket door to stay, but there's no real point. Just, just leave that wall, to be honest. There's nothing going in that wall. I'll just confirm. It'll take me two minutes to take it off anyway, so don't worry about that. So we've got to put all the big material out of here. One thing... Oh, it's so really soft here. We have the stairway to do. This all done here. That's done. 
I scraped that window ledge. I was already pulling nails here. Whatever I can re reach for now. Kill a little more time until the builder comes. I'll pull the drywall. Then we'll get a ladder for the high stuff. You gotta pick the top top corner a little bit so it's a screwdriver or something or a bar. These staples are just hammer them in. When you get the screws, you just have to bang it, bang it down. That's the screw here. You just go have glasses. Oh, come on. It's broken. You just have to hit it once. See, there was a little bit of mold here. It should come out. They put barriers trap anyway, so now you get past. They paint your drop sheet, basically. There's no screws or nails on the bottom. Bottom foot, there's nothing. Usually there's right on the bottom or something. Right on the bottom, but nope. Not here. So everything's denailed to a force of reach. some spots so once you get these corners you have to kind of bend in an angle Okay, so we're done here. Uh, rest days for now. They'll double drywall. They'll cut holes for something. Maybe pot lights and a double drywall, anyways. I'll take that little wall out here. This is here. All the tiles wrote down here. He's gonna have to rent a chipping gun for the uh, kitchen area. So this is ready. And then the uh, only thing that's real has to come out garbage nail all the way down okay let's go down hold on okay so we're uh basically done down here move some of these tools over one little piece here the ceiling's down there this is done here it's all done upstairs upstairs go double check joe I'll double check. We're gonna pull the insulation out here just because it's ratty looking. Just because it's gotta come out anyways. They gotta redo electrical, they're gonna change the plug formats around. And then uh, some of these things have to be changed. We call it uh, boiler pipes. 
And he told me he's going to save me the copper, whatever they cut out. This plumber doesn't take it. So that'll be a bonus. A little too much car here. Look at some of the junk we took. Mortars here, doors, those light fixtures, and then that's it. okay. So we're uh, basically done down here. Move some of these tools over. One little piece here. The ceiling's down there. This is done here. This all done. Upstairs. Upstairs? Go double check, Joe. I'll double check. We're going to pull the insulation out here just because it's ratty looking. Just because it's got to come out, anyways. They got to redo electrical. They're going to change the plug formats around. And then uh, some of these things have to be changed. We call it uh, boiler pipes. And he told me he's gonna save me the copper, whatever they cut out. This plumber doesn't take it. So that'd be a bonus. A little too much car here. Look at some of the junk we took. Mortars here, doors, those light fixtures, and then tell you never fails. I put some garbage in there. I find this now. There's appliance on this side, and there's appliance on that side of some sort. And I have to go back to my storage, grab my other van. How do you figure? Like, uh, doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you got a dishwasher on this side, dishwasher, and you have a dryer here. Nice cord on there. Samsung, dime a dozen. I have to go back to my yard, it's only a few blocks away, but you know, I'm tired. I figured I cleaned the property already from the building demo. I figured I dumped the rest of the bin. I asked the builder, he said, no problem, just whatever. So you got four, four garbage cans at least full. So no problem, go ahead. Which is nice, saves me from going to dump. I'll be going to dump anyways for the other property, but it's nice to get some stuff done. Okay, let's stand by here, get the other van. The Samsung. That's good because I haven't drove the van for a couple weeks, at least it started. Look at the cord here, nice, look at that. Six foot long cord. Almost a dishwasher. Charm. Hmm. A little bit noisy, my lift. Squeaky. See, tomorrow's recycle day. That's why they put the stuff out. It's a whirlpool. I flip them upside down so I can see the mortars. Yeah, this is the copper, maybe copper, maybe not that great. It, 
and they're hit and miss. You, they're aluminum once in a while too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually might cruise a little bit, a couple spots maybe, just to uh, see if I can find some more stuff being uh, recycled in tomorrow. This guy had something the last time I grabbed. I can't remember what it was, but some kind of metal. See, that's what they did. The sheriff probably boxed everything. That's the kind of stuff I don't touch because of someone else's memories and stuff in there. That kicked out. It looks like a duplex. Maybe, maybe not. I've seen that motorhome around, so they're, they've been renting around the area before, but that's what happens. Once you sign that notice saying they can rent there, damage deposit for its month's rent, and it takes six to eight months to kick them out if you don't know what you're doing know what you're doing you could get a little bit faster but they can hold it for at least six months before you they get kicked out you have to get a sheriff get court orders back and forth tenant you know tenant uh, bureau and so that's a, that's why you know what I'm saying I'm not renting to no one no more that's why that's why the, the other property uh, you know uh, I get a co-owner on that property just so I don't have to deal with renters no more you know, it's nice to have money coming in, but the problem is when you sell the property, they tax you. I sold that property, uh, the duplex, I had to pay $190,000 taxes la last year. $190,000. And I was, I was late, uh, two days late, they charged me about uh, 800 bucks. Six to 800 bucks, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but between six and $800, I was two days late for the deadline. Imagine that, hundred, and that's a just a direct penalty. Boom, hundred eighty, no, hundred ninety thousand dollars taxes. Ridiculous. So I'm saying, that's why. Why would I want to scrap and make more money? It wouldn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's just uh, when you pay that kind of taxes. That's why I quit scrapping last year. I was told you guys I made too much money. I, I cannot because I knew the capital gains would get me on my property. But anyways, whatever. It's it's done. Done deal. Next year won't be as bad, but there'll still be. I'll still owe some money, probably around sixty, seventy thousand. I think. Hard to say, but hopefully not that much. But anyways, we're gonna cruise just a little bit in this area here, just because uh, recycle day tomorrow. And uh, you see, like one guy puts out the thing, and the next guy puts the thing out, and he kind of schedule areas and say, okay, we'll we'll pick up here on the twentieth or whatever, and that's how it is for the area. That's why it's kind of this area you might see two or three things or half a dozen things. That's how it is. Okay. Barbecue. Oh, could have some stainless steel, maybe. It's heavy. It's actually really heavy. Not sure, but it looks a little rusty, but mostly burnt. Well, I have some stainless steel in the yard. It was actually really rusty and it was actually definitely non-magnetic, so it does get rusty. I love that. I got a house here that had scrap here sitting here for the last time. Uh, couple months knock on the door and see if anybody home see if they're uh, gonna get rid of them they stand by yeah there was no one home in that house and then my van wouldn't start sat there clicking around clicking and clicking and sounded really we really weak and clicking so but it ended up starting after like barely but I can't I can't turn it off it's got to be the battery battery shot or something doesn't hold like you know how you know it starts for a second and but yeah, I had the head well tail light on because I have this backup camera so I have to put the tail light on maybe a little bit of power would suck and killed the, the juice it's 
So I'm thinking it's uh, the battery doesn't hold charge. It holds a little bit, but when you put a load on it, it's not enough. It's too weak. Look at the back of the hollow hollow view. Did a review on that. Got that free, which is nice. But I get guys calling me all day or emailing all the time, three, four emails a day, saying that oh, I could. If I do commercial or test your product, they'll give me money and blah blah blah. Just so ridiculous. And they're not even related to what I do. It's just like, oh, I like your entertainment, but they don't know there. It's just generic. I guess the algorithms from YouTube gives them, they spam you that way. They want you to try to sell something for them or test something out or. But if they send me something, I'll test it out, but I'm not gonna beg for it. So you want to send me something, go for it. But if it's junk, it's junk, right? I, to I even told this guy, they gave me a metal detector test out and it was a piece of gra crap. It was falsing like crazy. I said, I, you know, I think something's on the machine. I, I said, it's not working too good. I said, you have to send me a, a better model, something a little bit higher end, because this one's no good. And she said, oh, okay. Never heard of it, it came from China. And then uh, someone supposed to send me a camera. Oh yeah, they're supposed to send me a wireless camera but they sent me a, 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 a note, no, like an iPad, almost like an iPad, but it was an Asian knockoff type thing. It was a kind of iPad, but it was a different, I couldn't even pronounce the name of it. It was some kind of weird name. And they said, oh, I thought I thought someone gave it to me, maybe a, some viewer or someone, I didn't even know, there's no information. She said, oh, how's your camera working? I said, camera, I never got a camera. Someone gave me a laptop. She said, oh, they sent you a laptop by mistake. I said, oh yeah, I said, well, she says, you can do review if you want. I said, well, I'll think about it. I said, I'm not a, a computer person, to be honest. I'm more into, uh, you know, products like demolition and stuff I can relate to, not, you know, if I was a computer whiz, my, my thumbnails would be awesome. My editing would be a lot better, you know what I'm saying? Old school. Okay, keep moving a little bit. Just can't turn the motor off. Okay. Cheers, sir. They're actually pretty heavy, so I'll take two at a time. At least they fold in to each other, which is good. Plus, I'm tired from that bar. That bar is like, I don't know, could you feel it be 10 pounds, that bar? The wrist is sore in this area here. See the difference? Especially when you're pounding the corner beads and your windows, and all of a sudden, they, you know, you slip and you have to, uh, the shock of you stopping in the hammer 28 ounce hammer and the shock here thing wrist rotating right so that's that's awesome to the barbecue on the side of the road this house burnt down actually I don't know why people are so lazy, they just put in their own garbage can, simple. So stupid some people are. Okay, I found a stove. Cockroach Hotel, probably. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. It's a little falling down here. Here, it's on a hill here, so it wants to slope. Thanks, sir. It's got so many of them. home. One's an old one. One's a little bit newer. This one's a little bit newer. 
Well, Rashi. Adidas on this thing. Oh, well, 2010. What's really old? 89. Oh, they're super old. Yeah, I just still have too many. That's the problem. Otherwise, I would have took them. So I start formulating my own. Get them cleaned, I'll, then I'll take them, but I got too many sitting right now. If they were full, I would take them. Okay.